go on some crazy rides today. Yeah. Okay, say bye. Bye. I did the dwarfs ride and I give it a 5 out of 10 because the, the beginning of the ride was uh, very, very fun, but the, but the second half was not fun. Why? Just because it was not fun. Was it because of like the turns? Yeah, it was too fast. Okay. Okay. with your seatbelt fastened nice and tight throughout your flight. And hey, everybody, make sure you keep your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside, and be sure to watch your kids. Or as Jeannie likes to say, Para su seguridad, permanezca sentado. Now, if you want to make your carpet fly higher or lower, riders in the front row should push up or pull down on the lever. And to make the carpet sit forward or back, riders in the back row should press that magic scarab. Everyone ready? Then let's fly to Azerbaijan.
a great view. It's a really great view. To a complete stop, then walk to the nearest exit. Hope you're on a magical ride. See you soon.
take upstairs. Let me just show you guys the path of Hilton. To get to Disney Springs. Bye! Getting to the Sky Bridge, which is insane. Circuit shortcut, or no, Brown Play Cove shortcut, I think. No, definitely Brown Play Cove, yeah. And uh, I didn't make my video because I forgot my phone. So, yeah. It's a beautiful Disney Spring Day. It's snowing like crazy in Florida. This is impossible. It's magical. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at these lights. Out of Cheros. We're not done. It's so cool. I rate Test Track on 9.5. 
nine out of ten. <laughs> Hello, Dory type fish. Ratatouilleville. Why didn't they do it? Give it time. I rate um a turn one ride ten out of ten. Need to remain seated. Thank you so much. Sable antelope just behind this bush. They get their name from their sable coat coloring. They're going to use those long horns to defend themselves from predators like lions that may jump on their backs. And they'll also use them during mating rituals. Also out towards the left are those gray animals called wildebeest. 
Are you wondering what those reddish either from space? Be so sad. And to help them with their migration, wildebeest can go up to four days without drinking any water. Mountain zebras a little further here, out on this left hill. It's going to help keep them cool, similar to Ann Coley cattle sports. Zebra! You'll only find these zebras, and, and another one's going to be close on the... They're only about a foot and a half tall, but they're full grown adults. However, they're already about six feet tall when they're born. They can also walk within an hour of life after giraffe experiences. It's gravity. Those are also elands out on that hill, those large tan antelopes. But their prehensile tongues, they can't get up to 18 inches long. They're going to be a dark purple color, which prevents their tongues from getting sunburned. Now, compared to those little springbok we saw, those elands back there are the largest type of antelope here on our reserve. Jumping eight feet in the air so those elands can easily jump in this truck right over our heads. They do have a dewlap like Hartman's mountain zebras, but it is going to be a bit larger, more noticeable. And as those elands get older, that dewlap's going to increase in size. They can help you indicate how old they are. There's some more wildebeest and springbok out there as well. He's eating leaves, leaves I think. Giraffe on both the left no, and right sides of the truck, just towards these baobab trees. But we are entering elephant territory. Yep. There are elephant the diagonal territory. there, towards that left side. There's another one just up ahead towards this watering hole. We'll get a bit closer. But we can tell their African elephant to increase blood circulation to help cool their bodies off up to 15 degrees Fahrenheit. So their ears are essentially acting as an internal air conditioner, extra layer of protection, and also sunscreen. You might be islands, but on this island are great flamingos. These are the largest species of flamingo. They're also the lightest shade of pink. They're pink, they're pink color due to the territory. This area up ahead, it looks like a giant mud pit. It's actually called a mud wallow. Sometimes we'll find rhinos like these hanging out here because they like to roll around in that mud to stay cool. They'll also use it as sunscreen for their skin. Now these are white rhinos. They're going to be a little bit larger than black rhinos, weighing about 4,000 to 5,000 pounds. Another way you can tell the difference between the two is going to be by the shape of their upper lip. White rhinos have a broad, flat upper lip, whereas black rhinos have a 60 miles an hour in just a few seconds. However, they can only hold those speeds for short distances. Cheetah's faces, see they have some black lines that run down from their eyes to their mouth. Those are going to help reflect the sun out of their eyes as they run. And they do have a wide range of vocalizations, such as purring and chirping. However, they're unable to roar like big cats. They also don't have retractable claws like big cats or domesticated house cats. So their claws are always going to stay out of their paws. This large rock formation out towards your left is called a kopi. Sometimes you'll find big cats hanging out on top of these. They like to use them to sleep, sunbathe, and then also look for their prey down below. We'll keep an eye out for any big cats as we make our way around, but there is another white rhino out there, some ostrich as well. We'll get over there in just a moment. But at the very, very back of that kopi, there is an African lion. We'll get a little closer here. Where? Where? Lions are going to spend about 16 to 20 hours a day sitting and makes them nocturnal. They're going to do most of their hunting at night, so it is usually the females who do the hunting. The males are going to defend their cubs and territory. Males have a thick mane of hair around their necks. It's going to act also hunt in the And although it's rare to hear, it's from predators. So also to mess the right, you can see those ostrich as well. There's also a deer looking animal tucked in those bushes. A little hard to see, but it's called a water buck. There's another one of those water buck further up ahead. Be on the right uh, side as we make this turn. The ostrich uh, are the largest, uh, bird, largest uh, size. They can weigh up to 100 pounds. And so, You did not listen. I see you. Oh, that's not a bat. That's a <laughs> Hello, Mr. Bat. How are you today? Hello. Hello. You're just hanging on on that tree. Oh, you both are. There's two of them. Oh, I 
He's so cute! He's so cute! He's upside down. Oh my gosh, he's so cute! They're so cute. Aren't they like the cutest? I literally ever? found Batman. Oh my <laughs> no, you didn't. Oh. <gasps> oh my gosh, there's two more. They're so tall. <laughs> the little tiger! Bud when he's a uh, lion. The tiger. Tiger. Bud when he's a tiger. Hello, hello, Mr. Tiger. Gosh, he's so cute. Oh, I... Hello, Mr. Tiger. You are so cute. Oh, he's looking at me. Hello. <laughs> he's so cute. That dude fast. <gasps> what are you guys doing? Did the Maraca, Raja, Asia jungle trip. Ten out of ten. In this habitat, we have three generations of colonists monkeys. Oh, wow. We have a mom, a grandma, and a two children, a boy and a girl. Oh. Oh. He's so cute. Off my camera lens. He should eat. Yay! Take a picture without your finger. It's Shaku! I can tell this was a snake enclosure too. I've never seen a scorpion before. And the frog. He looks so cute. Why is there trail marks in front? Oh, that's a lot of fish. That's a lot of fish. Oh my gosh, they're coming from the cave. Look at this. They're so cute. And it just keeps on going. And 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 going. Oh, I think there's flowers. No. I see some fish. I see fish. But there's ripples. They're so cute. A little fish right there. This one's still here. <laughs> it's doing hard work. Hello, Mr. Lemur. Oh, I, I yeah, there you are. Oh, he looked at me. <laughs> He's like, I know you're here, but what? What do you want exactly? Oh, there's another one. Hey, Mr. Sir. No. No. Where are you guys going? Oh my gosh. Did you get a picture of there? Hello, Mr. Lemur. Mr. Lemur. Oh, oh. Go in your little hole? No. Gonna hang out with the gang. Oh my gosh! 
<laughs> He's so cute. He looks creepy at the same time. Oh, look at the big guy. Oh, he's dumping something. Miles, we're going to do a video. Miles, get a video. Get a video. Don't tap your phone. Oh, no. Perfect. Uh oh. What is he doing? Uh oh. Uh oh. This is a giant thing. <laughs> 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 oh, it's a 10 out of 10.
Have a great day, and as always, goodbye.